have something to show you. <laughs> Aww. This is Minnie. She is my cat. Aww. She's my pet and she lives at home with me. Do you have any pets? Hmm. What's their name? Today, we're going to read a story about a lady that has many, many pets. Let's look at the cover of our book. Oh, thank you, Minnie. You're gonna help me show the book? <laughs> Let's look at the cover. This is Senora Amelia. She has a kitten like Mimi. She has a dog, a turtle, a talking parrot, two canaries, and a hen. This hen is named Rosaura. <laughs> Rosaura is the name of this hen. And guess what? Her birthday is coming up. And she wants something very, very cool for her birthday. I'm going to show you. A bicycle. Rosaura, the hen, wants a bicycle. Have you ever seen... A hen that has a bicycle? Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a very special gift. Let's see what happens in our story. The title of the book is A Bicycle for Rosaura. It is written by Daniel Barbot and illustrated by Morena Fuenmayor. Look. What is Rosaura doing? What do you think this is? Maybe it's her bicycle. Let's see what happens. Senora Amelia loved animals. At home, she had a dog. A kitten, a, pe uh, a talking parrot, there it is, a turtle, twin canaries, and a handsome hen named Rosaura. The month before Rosaura's birthday, Senora Amelia asked, Have you decided what you liked for your birthday? Why, yes, a bicycle, said Rosaura. But that's impossible, Senora Amelia exclaimed. Who's ever heard of a hen riding a bicycle? That's just it, Rosaura replied. I want to be the first. Hmm. Oh, wow. Rosara is very determined. Senora Amelia wanted to please her hen. Tomorrow, I will find a bicycle for Rosaura, she decided. Early the next morning, she took the bus into the city and stopped in all the bicycle shops. In each and every one, she got the same response. What? A bicycle for a hen? Or, no way, we don't carry such model! Or, mm, let's take a look into the catalog! Sorry, senora, we do not make bikes for hens! Hmm. Let's see if she can find it somewhere else. So Senora Amelia went home, sad and disappointed. Oh, Rosara is going to be awfully upset if I have to tell her that I couldn't find her a bicycle, she thought. As the days passed, Senora Amelia began to think that it was hopeless. 
Then, one afternoon, a strange-looking man came into town. He walked up and down the streets, singing and calling, I mend all clocks and jack-in-the-boxes. I repair harmonicas and wind chimes. I sharpen pen knives and sew in scissors. I make roller skates for dogs and I glasses for cats. Hmm. Oh, that man can make a lot of things. Maybe he can help Senor Amelia. Let's see. Maybe the man can help me, thought Senora Amelia. And she called him over right away. What can I do for you, Senora? asked the man. Would you like a singing spoon, a lunar calendar, a chocolate rocking chair? No, 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 interrupted Senora Amelia. What I need is... A bicycle for my hen. Hmm. Hmm. Murmured the man. That is difficult order. I will. Oh, that is a difficult order. I'll have to make measurements. I need to know the length of her legs and the span of her wings. Hmm. needs to make all these measurements. It's going to measure how long to make the pedals on the seat and how long she has to make the bike so she so the so Rosara can reach with her wings. Lots of measuring right there to make the perfect bicycle for Rosaura. After jotting down numbers and working out complicated formulas, the man was pleased to announce that he could have a bicycle finished in time for Rosaura's birthday. <gasps> oh, that's great news. The days seemed endless. Finally, one morning, there was a knock at her door. Senora Amelia peeked outside and saw a wonderful bike for Rosaura. She wrapped it up in a big box tied with a bright red ribbon around it. And on the day of Rosaura's birthday, <gasps> you're not gonna believe this. Look! How do you think Rosaura is feeling right now? Can you show me with your face how Rosaura must be feeling? <gasps> Look at all those beautiful faces. Oh, she must be so excited and thrilled and happy to finally get her bike. <laughs> well, Rosaura was delighted with her present. Now, every morning, she rides to the grocery store to buy milk and bread for Senora Amelia. So, if you should ever visit this town in Venezuela, you're sure to see Rosaura speeding by on her bike. But watch out! The strange man forgot the brakes! Oh no! Oh my goodness, I love this book so much. Say it with me. The end. <laughs>